At OHS in a village called Oshigambo, lived a famous Finnish missionary biology teacher. Her eccentric personality makes her a favorite among students and earned her a popular nickname, Kuku Kanamwenyo. Every Osh student studied biology under the teaching of Kuku Kanamwenyo. Kanamwenyo's animated character and engaging teaching style make learning about human body parts and their functions fun for her students. To help children have fun while learning biology, she uses the visual aid of a trusted skeleton called Tate Olavi. Biology class was never complete without Tate Olavi in front of the class or placed somewhere in the class. Marcus, a student at OHS, assists Kanamwenyo by carrying Olavi the skeleton to and from class, adding to the humor of her lessons. OHS students keenly rush to biology laboratory class, where it's fun to learn and laughter is the order of the day. Kuku Kanamwenyo walked into the biology classroom with a big smile on her face, ready to teach her students the wonders of the human body. In her first lesson, it is considered tradition for Kanamwenyo to introduce her visual aid, Tete Olavi, to the students. She always starts her biology class with the study of the human body parts and their functions with the help of Tate Olavi, the skeleton. Kuku Kanamwenyo brings humor into the classroom by making jokes about the different body parts and their functions, keeping the students engaged. As Kanamwenyo began to explain the different bones and parts of the body, she gave each one a funny nickname to help the students remember them. She called the skull Tate Olavi's noggin protector. It's like a helmet for your brain. It keeps your brain safe and sound. Without it, your brain would be in a lot of trouble. Kuku Kanamwenyo referred to the arms as Tate Olavi's wiggly wigglers and they help do all sorts of things, like waving, hugging, and high-fiving. They're like two strong, bendy sticks attached to your body. Imagine trying to eat without your wiggly wigglers. What a mess. She called the buttocks, omatako, in Oshiwambo, Tete Olavi's jiggle seat. It's the soft cushion you sit on every day. It helps you stay comfortable and balanced when you're sitting down. Plus, it makes sitting on hard surfaces much more pleasant. Tate Olavi's tummy rumble zone is the stomach. When you're hungry, it makes all sorts of funny noises to remind you it's time to eat. It's like having a little drummer boy inside your body. To demonstrate how the body moves, Kuku Kanamwenyo asked Marcus to help. He helps Tate Olavi, the skeleton, perform different movements for the class, from shaking hands to dancing. The best of all is the humerus, which she calls the funny bone isn't technically a bone that makes you laugh, but it's called the funny bone because when you hit it, it feels so strange and makes your arm tingle. It's the bone in your upper arm. The sight of a student trying to mimic Olavi's rigid movements had the whole class in stitches. As the lesson came to an end, Kanamwenyo reminded her students that learning about the human body could be fun and exciting. Years go by, and Kuku Kanamwenyo remains a beloved figure at OHS, leaving a lasting impact on her students with her unique approach to teaching. Thanks for watching Kuku Kanamwenyo and her biology class at OHS. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe at Nimation 363 for more OHS and Kuku Kanamwenyo stories.